Hey everyone, I don't know what's going on with my hair either, TBH, but I just finished filming this makeup look. To be honest, the lighting's kind of like iffy right now, but I've been wanting to swatch these for so long now. I've been promising the video for a couple of months, um, the Sephora collection at Lip Stories, and I actually got sent another one by accident from Sephora, so I'm going to give this one away to you guys. All you have to do to enter is be subscribed to my channel, turn on the notification, the little bell, and then comment below with your Instagram handle or your Twitter handle. So you do have to have Instagram or Twitter. It's easy to sign up for them if you don't have it yet. And make sure you're following me on whichever one, um, you know, that corresponds. If you want to like write your Instagram down below, make sure you follow me on Instagram. If you want to write your Twitter down below, make sure you follow me on Twitter. And if you want more chances, you can always, you know, leave both down below. I'll be contacting the winner via Instagram or Twitter. So yeah, make sure you're following me, subscribed, notifications. I almost smacked myself in the eye just then. <laughs> anyway, so these are the lipsticks. They are in the cutest uh, like paper cardboard packaging which I really actually like and they've got the most amazing designs all over them the colors look amazing I've only tried on one so I'm gonna try all of them on for you today 40 shades $8 each so affordable and yeah I'm pretty excited about this by the way I just looked on Sephora New Zealand as well they are only $13 which is unheard of for New Zealand so affordable so let's hope that the colors are nice and they feel good and all of that jazz let's get started I've got like um Exo Beauty Rescue Me on my lips right now, the lipstick with an Urban Decay nude lip gloss on top, hence the very glossy finish. I'll put um, instructions to enter the giveaway down below too if I was a bit confusing, just so you can make sure you've done everything. Make sure you thumbs up this video too. <laughs> Milk it. <laughs> I'm gonna go from like the top left and just kind of do each collection, if that makes sense. So we're starting with Holidays. So I'm going to start with this one here. I'm going to show you the packaging of each one because they're really cute. This one has cookies all over it and it is in the shade 10 and it is a cream finish. Oh, called Yum Yum maybe? Yum Yum. Cute name. And this is a beautiful deep brown. Ooh, it's so pigmented. That's so smooth. I can already tell this is the kind of formula that you would definitely want to use a lip pencil with because it's so like thin and creamy. What is going on? Ugh. I love the color. It's a really warm brown. Once again, that is shade 10 at Yum Yum. I'm wearing the most outrageous lipstick. I mean, eyeshadow with this lipstick collection. Woo. Bright blue. I'll link the tutorial down below. Next up, I'm going to do going straight in, straight in there. Black. This is called a Woof number 44 and it's got pug packaging which is adorable how is this matte that doesn't look matte to me the formula of these reminds me of like the nyx butter lipsticks like very very thin and creamy i would not call that matte at all once again lip pencil probably necessary because it's a little bit like feathery around the outside but you know the pigmentation is amazing i just yeah would not call that matte whatsoever once again that is the shade woof with the cutest packaging. Like I'd buy it just for the packaging, which is really bad, but it's true. Next up, we have the shade Fireside. And this is like a fireplace little picture, I think. And it's number 11. This one is another brown color. What formula is this? Cream. Sorry if you can hear my music. I'm just in such a music mood lately, like just living for it. I've just been listening to music like every second of every day for the last couple days. Okay, I really enjoy this one as well. These are made in Italy too, which is really cool. You get four grams of product and they don't really smell like anything. They kind of smell like, you know that lipstick smell? Like plasticky smell, but it doesn't taste like plastic, so that's good. That's what Fireside looks like, number 11. I'm a huge fan of that one too. I might even like this a little bit more than the first one because it's so like rich and dark. I think it looks kind of weirdly cool with the blue eyeshadow. I don't know. And then the last one we have here, oh my gosh, this is like my one, my background. You know, I've got my fairy lights at the back. So cute. Um, this is called Just Add Tinsel and it's a metal finish, number 48. Metal, is it like metallic? I'm assuming that's what that means, right? <laughs> oh my God, I hate it. I definitely started off with like the weirdest shades, but that's fine. I literally feel like the Tin Man. I feel like an alien, especially with the blue eyeshadow as well. It's pretty crazy, but I mean, could be cool if you're looking for something like this for like Halloween or something like that. 
like the actual pigmentation the formula is really really nice I just <laughs> would never ever wear this in my entire life but anyway that's what just add tinsel looks like I will list all of these in order down below as well for you guys just in case you miss one of the names or can't hear me properly or can't understand my awesome accent <laughs> okay next up let's do the little global citizen set of four First, let's go in to this one. This is a cream finish and it's called Somewhere in Spain and it's got some Spanish, I'm assuming, windows. Awesome packaging. I actually really like this one and it looks like a color that would be right up my alley. It's like a butterscotch kind of color. It is so creamy. I love this color so much. Um, it's just like a really, really warm nude. I don't know. I really like it. I like it with the eye makeup too. Um, I feel like it would look really cool with like a bronze smoky eye. So I am a fan of that one. Somewhere in Spain. This is going to be a crazy color. This one here is in the shade Icebreaker. And it is a picture of the ocean. Yeah. So this is like a dark, bright, like purple shade. And it is a metal finish once again. My favorite. It's a cool color. I just don't like metallic. And it's number 46, Icebreaker. What do you think? <laughs> Again, I feel like an alien. I'm excited for the next one. This one is called First Class, number 25. And the picture is like of the inside of an airplane. And then this looks cool. It's a matte. Did I say that? I don't know. Oh, awesome. This is such a bright orange. This one applies especially good as well. Like it's super crisp. I don't know what happened just here, but let's just pretend I'll like just face this way. Love love this shade again with a bronze smoky eye or something it would look so cool or just like winged eyeliner and lashes amazing so many different skin tones would pull this off amazing as well especially deeper skin and then the last one from that little set this is called two lips like t-w-o lips like a play on words you know it's got cute little tulip packaging i actually love this packaging i love the teal and the pink and then it is a matte bright pink these mattes are not super matte they're like definitely a creamy matte but i like the formula like if you just ignore the word matte like i like the way they look you know they also kind of remind me of the tarte rainforest of the sea lipsticks the ones that come in the um like marbled teal packaging that's what they remind me of as well i actually like kind of like how this looks together am i crazy probably but i love this color this is just a super bright pink and it's super fun a good one to grab if you don't have a bright pink or if you're scared of bright pink you want to give it a go because it is so affordable and it looks stunning i love it see what i mean though it's very like creamy it's not like a drying matte formula which is a good thing for a lot of people because some people don't like you know really dry lips it's definitely not drying that one definitely stained my lips a little bit whereas like none of the other ones did so that's strange next i'm going to do lady business which look at this one that's exciting so the one with the money on it this one is called cash money number 47 it's a cream finish i love green lipstick it's really strange but i do it's so cool i love this color so much once again if you want to try something new and experiment it's the perfect price point to give it a go um i wish it was more of the matte formula because it's very shiny like the creamy ones are very 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 shiny looking but it's cool next up let's do this color 27 it's another metal and it's called hong kong by night and it's a taxi on the picture oh god i'm gonna hate this it's like a copper red but it's metallic if it was just copper red i'd like love it but i can't oh i can't cool for christmas though actually okay i don't actually hate it like i thought i would this one you can feel the glitter it's like quite gritty as you apply it but i don't hate it i feel like paired up with a very simple eye look like i said with some like winged liner some lashes it could actually be pretty cool what do you guys think do you like it or do you hate it be honest once again, that shade is called Hong Kong by Night, number 27. Next up, I'm going to do this one, which is a picture of like a parliament building or something. It's called Labyrinth City, matte, number nine. What is this? You tell me. I mean, I've never seen that before. And then oh, this looks pretty. I already know this is going to be a favorite. It's like a rosy kind of um, like rosy undertone brown. That's so unique the kind of color like i don't think many of us would have in our collection already it's so pretty it's like a brownish rose color so if you had a deeper skin tone it'd probably be a really nice like light 
pinky rosy color or on me you can see it's a little bit deeper I feel like it would suit so many different skin tones and look so different on everyone and I love it I think this is one of my favorites so yeah number six labyrinth city it's just not take much note of how crusty my foundation is getting around my nose because I keep having to reapply it um this hair is the shade 45 matte city beat and it's just a picture of a city Ooh, it's like a super deep, deep navy blue. I love navy blue as well. I never wear it, but I love it. This one's a little bit more sheer. This one actually smells really bad as well. It smells like, you know, like when you go to your grandma's house and they've got like a spare room that they never use and there's like a chest of drawers and you open the drawers and it's that like old wood smell. Like that's what this smells like to me right now. Maybe I've got a dud. It's not very buildable either. I mean, it's not terrible, but... I was expecting more out of this one. This one, eh. This one, again, is called City Beat 45. Next up, we're going to do the little collection called it Festival Vibes. I can see some really fun, like, pastel kind of colors. So I'll start with that one. This is the shade Trippin' 50. It's a matte. It's, like, not sticking to, like, the inner part of my lip. I think it's because my lip's, like, really dry. Or, like, raw. Not really dry. It's, like, raw from, like, removing all the lipstick. But on the rest of my lips, it's fine. I love the color, though. It does make your teeth look a little bit yellow. But I love the color. Again, if you want to experiment, perfect price point. And the formula feels amazing. Um, yeah. I like the finish. It's even. It's opaque. It's full coverage. Next up, let's do this one. It's fun. This is called No Cell Service. And it's got a cafe on the front. And it's in the number 42 and it's a metal. Oh, I forgot to show you this one up close. It's just like iridescent. Pretty cool. It's like an oil slick or something. Anyway, I'm not gonna like this. If you're looking for a kind of golden color, I mean, go for it. I would never wear this. I can't imagine ever wearing it. Maybe if I was doing like a Roman, like what's the, um, what's the word? Like a toga party or something maybe. Dressing up like a friggin', I don't even know. Dress up color, whatever. I would never wear this, but that's how it looks. Number 42. Next up, let's do number 39, Desert Trip. And it is a picture of the desert. I really like this packaging as well. I think it's a pretty picture. And then the color, oh, this looks so pretty. Do I see? It's a cream. Yeah, that is such a pretty like wearable purple. It's like a plummy purple. Oh my God, it's been so long since I've done a proper lip swatch video. If you enjoyed this video, I'll link my previous lip swatch video down below. So that is how um, Desert Trip looks like. And I really like it. I think it's a really pretty color. Once again, it is that cream finish where I wish they were all kind of just like the matte finish, which is like creamy anyway. This is very, very glossy and I feel like it'll move around and transfer. Well, it'll definitely transfer, but it might get on your teeth and stuff. So I don't know, but I love the color. And then the last one from this little row is called um, After Hours. It's number 23 and it's a matte and it is a carousel picture. I think I'll love this. Yeah, it's like a tomato red. Do you say tomato or tomato? I feel like I say both, but probably tomato more often. Bad application, and obviously with this blue eyeshadow, I look very like 80s or something, but with a different eye color, I'm obsessed with this one. I love, love, love it. It's a deep tomato red, like I said. It's really pretty, so that is definitely a favorite. Once again, it's called After Hours. And then the final little row on this side of the box is called Top Down Life. I feel like I'm about to friggin' snap a nail getting these out of the packaging. I'm not gonna lie. So I wanna start with this one because I'm just so intrigued. Oh, it's a metal. And I feel, look at this, like the packaging is kind of caving in. Can you see that? Which isn't the best. But anyway, this is number 49. It's called Ouch and it's a metal and the packaging is just like this kind of like pattern, like cactus pattern. While you apply this one, it kind of moves. Like it like goes real streaky and removes itself. It's quite sheer and not buildable. Once again, I feel like you'd only ever wear this for like costume, um, but that's how it looks. It's kind of cool. It's very like iridescent looking and very sparkly. Maybe if you put it on top of like a matte liquid lipstick, it could look really cool. So that is the shade Ouch, once again. Next up we have a matte called Wonderlust, number 33. And this one is a desert road. Very pretty, love it. Dark, dark, deep brown. Compared with the shade 11 from near the beginning, this one's got more of like a kind of plum undertone, whereas this one's a little bit more warmer. That one was shade shade 11, and this is shade 33 that I'm wearing now. Okay, next up, this color looks awesome. This is a cream, and it's in the shade Manatee. 
Menete, I don't know how to pronounce that, number 30, and it's got a drive-through sign or drive-in sign. It's like a terracotta -y kind of creamy peach. So we're getting to that point where I've swatched like 20 and my application's just getting shocking. So that's how that shade, wait, what was it called again? I've forgotten already. Um, Manatee, Manatee, Manate, oh wait, I'm saying it wrong. Matine or Matine, Matine, Matinee. Matine, Matinee. Please help me. I've never seen that word in my entire life. Anyway, I think that's really pretty as well. And then the last one from this set is number 31. It's a matte and it's called a Golden Gate and it's got the Golden Gate Bridge on the front. And, ooh, this color looks beautiful as well, like a deeper plum. Yes, that is so pretty. And you know what? I actually love how it looks with the blue eyeshadow. So that is how it looks. I love this color so much. Oh my gosh, another favorite for sure. That's definitely a must have, number 31, Golden Gate. Now we are on to the next side. So I'm gonna do this one first, Wifed Up. Oh my God, these colors look up my alley, especially those three. Okay, so this one here is called um, Love Love. It's number seven and it is a matte. Oh, this is the one I've tried on before. It looks like this. And the packaging is, I think a beach, yeah with footprints in it. I already remember that I really liked this. It's kind of like one of those grayish kind of toned nudes. So pigmented as well. Now keep in mind my lips are super pigmented because I've been like applying and removing so many lipsticks. So there's like this weird like pinky tinge, but like such a nice color. So if you like a really pale nude, this is a really, really cool one. And it's a lot more like pinky, beigey, like grayish than that one I showed earlier that was like a butterscotch nude. So that is number seven, love, love. That lighting's probably a bit better. That's how it looks. And then we have this one here, which is called We. O-U-I, We. It's a cream and it's number three. And the packaging, it took me a while to figure it out. I thought they were flowers at first, but it's um, dresses hanging up on hangers. Ooh, this is actually really pretty. It's like a My Lips But Better Pink. I think it's perfect with this eye makeup too. Like it's just so flattering. It's like chill, it's wearable, it's every day. This is a really good go-to. If you've got a similar kind of complexion to me, definitely give this one a go. Wee. Oui. <laughs> I say it's so strange. My accent butchers it. This is probably my all-time favorite just because it's the kind of color I would wear every day. And you can wear it with any makeup look. And then this one looks interesting. This is a matte and it's called Off Limits, number 38. And it's a pink padlocked door. I like the packaging. I already know I'm gonna like this. Okay, once again, we're getting that kind of weird tinge around my lip line just because of all the lipsticks I've been applying and taking off. But I love this color. This is a very wearable kind of like muted lilac shade. It would look amazing with warm tone eyeshadows or cool tone eyeshadows. Maybe not like colorful though. Like this is a bit too much. But if you just wore like gray and like cool tone brown eyeshadows or something, it would look super cool. So I like that. And then the last one from this little row, this is another metal, it's called Festival Lights, number 51. It's got hanging like lanterns or candles maybe. It's a bronze shimmer. This one goes on a lot more even than some of the other metallics. So with this eye makeup, it looks hideous, but I don't actually mind it. Like I like how warm it is. It's a very like full on, bronze color like again maybe cool for Halloween or something so once again that's festival lights if you are enjoying this video please give it a thumbs up as well it really helps my channel out and I really support I really support I really appreciate your support <laughs> next up we have hashtag throwback I'm gonna start with another metal this one's called take a spin and it's got a like picture of the horses off a carousel and it's like a pale nude metallic let's see how this one goes this one again is quite sheer. I mean, it's not hideous, but it's nothing special to me. I probably would never, ever, ever wear this shade, but there it is, Take A Spin 41 Metallic. They leave like residue on your lips when they wear off. There's a couple reds. Okay, let's do this one first. This looks like a coral maybe. This is in the shade Take A Bite. It's a matte and it has like glazed cherries on the packaging and it looks, yeah, like a cherry bright red. It looks really cool. Oh my god, it's so bright, I love it. That is the most cherry pinup red I've ever seen in my life. It's so bright. It is the perfect pinup color. So if you're into that kind of look, you need this in your life. Take a bite. And the packaging is so cute as well. I think they were going for that pinup look. How good would this be for like 4th of July or whatever? <laughs> 
Next up, I'm going to do number 22. It's called A Little Magic and it is a matte. And this one, I think, is another kind of like ride, maybe. What do you guys think this is? I don't know. And this one is a deeper kind of bright red. Just as pretty. Just darker. Not as like, you know, bright, I guess. Not with this eye makeup, but amazing. I love it. So number 22, A Little Magic. Definitely Shannon approved. And then the final one from this little row is called Malt Shake. And it is a cream. And it's got like a diner on the packaging. It looks like it's going to be a dark brownie red. So that is how it looks. I'm not sure how it compares to the other ones. Um, but it's like a really deep red like a super super deep red that's actually yeah the other ones are more brown this is more red and once again that one's called malt shake my lips are feeling the pain now we've got three more lots of four to go let's do this one at first what does this say spring break state of mind oh this looks so pretty this is a cream and it's called spring at break and the picture is like a beach setting I already know I'm gonna like this color. I just love colors like this. It's like a pink muted shade. I love this one. I think it's so flattering. Once again, it's called Spring at Break and it's really, really comfortable, opaque, beautiful. I like it. Oh my God, <laughs> what just happened? Next up, we've got the shade at Tan Lines. It's a cream again and it's in the number six and it's a Thai bar fish club pitcher, surf club. Oh, that's such a nice nude. It's a little bit, less orange than the butterscotchy one from near the beginning it's like just the perfect beige nude beautiful shade it's just the perfect nude like go with anything look good on quite a few different skin tones as well depending on the look you're going for i like it a lot that's definitely a good nude for me next up i have a pinky shade this is a cream again and it's called pineapple express shade 22 and it's got lots of fruit on the cover pineapples of course Ooh, it's like a cool tone pink Definitely not with this eye makeup look, but with something different. It'd be so fun for like a party or a girl's night out. It's like the perfect bright fuchsia fun color. I really like it. If you like fun colors, you will like this one. And then the last one from this set is number 24. It's a cream and it's called Deep Water Bay. It's got a little bay watch kind of, um, what are they called? Like a life-saving thingy. Oh my god, it's like an orange like pumpkin color. These are the kind of colors that get me so excited. Sometimes when I'm doing these videos, I imagine someone that doesn't even wear makeup or like doesn't like understand makeup, you know, because heaps of you guys don't even wear makeup, you just like watching makeup. But imagine someone that doesn't appreciate makeup whatsoever, clicking on one of these videos and watching me get so excited over like, oh my god, pumpkin, pumpkin lipstick. They'd just be like, what's going on here? Anyway, I love that color. It's like a pumpkin-y muted red color. Not this eye makeup once again, awful, awful application. Need lip pencils with these, but um, I really like that one, Deep Water Bay. Next up, we've got Brunch Days, just here. Okay, well, we'll start with the white. This is number 43 and it's called In The Clouds. It's a matte and it's got pictures of clouds on it. Let's see how this performs since it's white, like often, you know, not very pigmented and stuff, but let's see, very streaky so far. I'm not surprised at all though, to be honest. And to be fair, it's kind of picking up some like remnants of the last color. Um, my lips are raw AF. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> I look like, um, what are those girls called in Japan that have like really fake tan skin, like white lips and like the bold eye makeup and the big hair. That's how I look. So, I mean, it's, it's white. If you needed a white for any reason, here it is. It makes my teeth look so yellow. You could probably just use like, if you've got a white cream eyeliner, just use something like that instead, to be honest. But there it is. You would never catch me wearing that any day of the week. But good for mixing colors if you want to lighten a color or make it more pastel. Next up, we've got shade one. This is called Brunch Date and it's got cute little like chairs and a cafe. This is matte, I don't know if I said that. It's another kind of butterscotchy kind of um, nude shade, like a very orangey, brownie nude. It's a little bit darker, so better for medium skin tones. Goes on like a dream. I like it. I mean, I wear colors like this all the time, so it's a good one. Nice and cheap as well, so that's shade one, brunch date. I'm starting to get really excited that I'm close to the end because all I want right now is lip balm. Anyway, this is shade 26. It's a matte and it's called All It Washed Up and it's a laundromat kind of inside, um, <laughs> another bright red but this one's more pink undertone 
I love it so much. It's just super pinky, still really bright. I'll compare it on my hand. So this is this one, which once again is called All Washed Up. I'll compare it to the cherry one that was also like a bright red, which once again, it's called Take a Bite. This was that other one I loved. So you can see that that one's more like of a red, you know, like, I don't know how to explain. This one's got more of a pink undertone. Like it's more blue based. <laughs> My brain's giving up now. It's seen too many colors. And then the last one from this little um, row, this is called 32 Berrylicious. It's a cream and it is a like acai bowl. Is that how you say it? <laughs> it's a nice like grape color, very juicy looking. Anyway, that's how it looks. It's just a grape color. If you're looking for like a deep purpley color, it's a pretty one. And then the last row right here is called Pool O'Clock. Let's get these done and dusted. First up, we've got 13 Coconut Grove. It is a metal finish and it has palm trees. I love the packaging of this one too. And once again, it's that metallic finish, which I'm not really a huge fan of, but if you're looking for something like this, that's how it looks. It reminds me of something my mum would have worn in the 90s, not gonna lie. She had some like pretty crazy lipsticks that were like so sparkly. And I used to beg her to put them on me and she was like, nope. You're too young. And I was like, uh, but I was, I was like five. <laughs> Next up, we'll do 12. This is called Celebrate and it is a matte and it's got lanterns on the front. Matte shade, nice bright fuchsia pink. Definitely not with this eye makeup once again, but that is Celebrate number 12. It's a fun color once again. I really like the finish of this one as well. Next up, let's do 28 Popsicle Lips. It's a cream finish and it's got cute little popsicles on the lid. You can see how sparkly that is in the lighting right now. Like, not sparkly, sorry, creamy and shiny. Right when I've got like one left, the lighting does this. Okay, honestly, this is like the only way I can show you the color. So that is how Popsicle Lips looks. It's a beautiful red shade, just like a true red. And such a pretty finish too. Once again, not with this though. And then the final shade is number 37, Hot in Havana. And it's got the cutest packaging with like heaps of bright doors or like buildings love this oh my god terrible application once again but how gorgeous is that shade um once again it's called hot in havana 37 it is a cream finish and it is so bright it's just like a bright like proper orange shade i love it so i'm gonna go now before i get a freaking kink in my neck i'm like leaning on the weirdest angle right now i hope you guys enjoyed this video once again thumbs up if you did enjoy it and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye